Please, will that Coinbase IPO be that smashing stock exceeding all price predictions this year and be the stock to watch out for in the community? Back rolls. So if you've watched my last videos on Bitcoin, you'll know I am really struggling with this whole Bitcoin thing and investing in Coinbase stock seems like a far more sensible way to get exposure. Mm. Coinbase is tied to the performance of Bitcoin and guess what, it's a profitable company. That's fab, right? So investing in Coinbase stock seems to be a good way to go and Coinbase is a stock to watch. But before we do that, let's take a small step back and explain the trials and tribulations of VV, treating your own demon. So Bitcoin as a currency is up like 700%. Bitcoin has been on a tear this year and geez, 700% guys, mind blown. Now, I won't go into all the reasons here for the insane in the membrane meteoric rise of Bitcoin. Why does it always taste so good the next day? But for me, the two struggles that emerge with Bitcoin and just crypto in general is firstly, I don't really understand it. Secondly, I feel like it's a capitulation. Again, probably because I don't really understand it. Now they say knowledge is power, right? So I'm trying to address that by reading this book recommended to me by my husband, who in turn was recommended it by another crypto exchange, not Coinbase. So if you are on a similar mental effort, reading this book should just help because it's helping me. It's a fascinating book and the more I read it, the more Bitcoin makes sense. Savvy. But again, we are investors on this channel and not speculators. I have to keep reminding myself of that. I crashed, I splatted. I did stupid with zeros on the end. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, the Coinbase IPO hit a few weeks back and investors got their first chance to buy and invest in one of the largest digital currency exchanges. So let's sprinkle the facts and see if the cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase is a stock worth buying. It's one of 2021's most eagerly awaited listings, which again, no surprise given, they are the largest cryptocurrency exchange. Let's sprinkle the facts guys and see what goes on. There are some great things to like about Coinbase. It is closely associated with Bitcoin. And secondly, it's a rare tech stock that is actually profitable, unlike this IPO a few weeks ago. Well, actually the Coinbase IPO was not an IPO at all. An IPO is an initial public offering and it's managed and underwritten by one or more investment banks. And they earn large fees in the process. With an IPO, there is a prospectus with details of the company shared amongst investors and drumming up of interest ahead of the shares being released to the public to raise a new fund. The Coinbase did not IPO. It opted for a direct listing where the initial price is a reference price based on the most recent private price. And then that price reverts to supply and demand in the market. That was a bit a mouthful i'm not gonna like but there are some reasons why a company may choose to direct list rather than ipo though and the most dominant one is that the company is not looking to raise more capital instead the existing shareholders are looking to exit or sell their own shares <laughs> Coinbase had a reference price of $250 and currently trading in the low to mid 300s, depending on when I get this video edited, obviously. So the stock has been sideways since its initial launch, but there still feels like there's plenty of excitement. And so should we consider this stock? What is this? Coinbase is a platform for buying and selling Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, which is the second largest cryptocurrency, I'll have you know. A platform in this context is basically an exchange, a place where you can go to buy and sell the asset classes. And so like most exchanges, it makes money on transaction fees. Think about going to the market and choosing which store to buy your apples from. He's absolutely right. So every time you buy or sell crypto on Coinbase, it takes a little bit off the top. And as of the time of this video, it's just under 0.6% of every transaction that takes place on the exchange. What makes it even more lucrative is the Bitcoin trajectory and volatility. The more an asset rallies, the higher the percentage related fee becomes, obviously. Also, the volatility means the asset is trading hands a lot. More volatility means more buys on the same asset. It's great, great, great business, honestly. But what does that mean for Coinbase? Well, revenue for that first quarter in 2021 was 1.8 billion. And to put that into perspective, Coinbase made 1.3 billion for the entirety of 2020. Coinbase also made a net income of $730 million. Great Scott. And it's nice to see a company come into market in the tech space that is profitable. However, as you guys know, I'm a mom, I own humans, and I have to invest responsibly 
What I can get my head around here is that it's a company that trades on other investors and speculators to do so. And let me put it like this, I don't play the lottery, but others love to play the lottery. That makes Camelot a great business. Likewise, I don't play poker and I think of a straight flush in a completely different context. I think of diapers, nappies, but in poker, it means you have one. A lot, right? <laughs> and if people say, Monica, how can you laugh at that? Because damn it, it's funny. And Triple A, the company, has been a fantastic investment in the last year. So in the same way, the enthusiasm for crypto is not waning. And so buying a business that knows how to make money from crypto seems like a good way to go. Right? You can also put it into your ISA. If you want to know now how you can do that, you can go here and have a look where I talk about getting crypto into your portfolio in a tax efficient manner. So since we've established Coinbase is a good business and a profitable business, but what is it actually worth? and what should you pay for it? And that's where I'll find out. Coinbase itself has huge potential for growth. It does, but there are some really big risks to the business, which are beyond whether you think crypto is the future or not. And with companies like Coinbase making immense profits, it sends a clear signal to the market to get their act together. And as my husband says, it's the classic schumpeter of supernormal profits creating a trigger for other entrants to join in the frenzy, which I think will be the case for crypto as well, especially where established platforms have a greater Rolodex of customers to market their own offering to. And one other threat is also the emergence of crypto so ETFs, we have seen a few attempts at this, but no bona fide complete ETF. However, that will continue to emerge as institutional investors that need crypto exposure as a component of asset allocation demand it. And once that happens, guys, the demand for digital assets will also move away from the exchange platforms. Finally, the biggest risk of all remains, and that is what will the regulatory landscape look like for digital currencies? Because we can all agree it will become more regulated. Now Coinbase has the potential to be an exceptional stock, but the cryptocurrency market could be about to turn and the bubble is about to pop. So click here and we can discuss whether Bitcoin is about to crash and I'll see you over there.